Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is somewhat of a bonus video. Last week we decorated together my living room and entryway area. That day I also did my dining room and kitchen. But while I was editing the video, I thought it was going to be too long, so I left that portion out completely. I have since reconsidered because I think it would be great for you guys to see how this all came together. So let's get into it. In keeping with my evergreen theme, I also picked up this live wreath for the kitchen. Like I shared in the last video, since we weren't doing a big tree this year, I still wanted to have the smell of fresh pine. So in addition to the little tree we got, I also picked up this wreath at Costco. It's mixed pine with some pine cones and red berries. I took those out and instead added some of that frayed velvet ribbon I had been using, just to bring some of that color over into the kitchen. Should old acquaintance Forgot and never brought to mind. Should all the acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne, we'll talk a cup. Here on the gallery wall, I rotate the smaller frames several times throughout the year. I keep these three and then swap the ones around it with seasonal art or anything with colors I'm working with. I'm adding these frames I thrifted in the last couple of months. That top left looks a little off here, but I do fix it later. Also, you may or may not notice these are not centered over the piano. That's because when I originally did it, I don't think I had that bench there. It's where we sit to take our shoes off and I actually much rather have it there because it's so practical. I also did have the air purifier on the left spot there. I relocated that as well. So maybe next year I will revisit this wall and lay everything out a little better since I made those changes. I got this framed carol from Michaels last year and I'm going to use it here again. And this canvas and frame I also thrifted earlier this year. This isn't specifically Christmas but I do love the colors so I'm putting it on the top. Over the buffet, I took down the sconces I had there for fall and I'm putting these that I recently thrifted there instead. I think they work really well with the style of the mirror. Here I'm using the same stems and ribbon I used on the picture lights over in the living room. I like keeping it very simple on top of the buffet here. I'm using my DIY paper mache bowl with some of the ornaments I DIY'd last year. These are the same ones I used on the coffee table. Then I'm also adding this thrifted brass candle holder and the nutcrackers also from last year. I did plan on staining these like the ones I did in my Christmas DIY video, but I just didn't get around to it. So I think they're staying that way.
I also like keeping my dining table decor very simple. We use this table quite frequently and I don't like having to shift things around. Actually, in general, my decorating style is quite practical. I try to decorate around our lifestyle and not the other way around. We sometimes use this table for playing games or other things. So putting my decor on a tray also makes it really easy to just move it when I need to. I'm using some stems I got at Hobby Lobby last year and this vase I recently picked up at Walmart. Moving over to the floating shelves in the kitchen, I'm adding a pair of the mini trees I used in the living room. This really tied both spaces together. I saw quite a few of you purchase them from my last video. They are truly so beautiful. I will put the link in the description again if you're still considering it. On the bottom shelf, I'm adding my carolers. Don't remember where I got them, but I've had them for many years and I just really love using them. I also added little houses I got at Michael's last year and a few thrifted brass pieces. This is the opposite side of those shells and this is something I had been very excited to share with you. I thrifted this huge and absolutely gorgeous vintage oval frame earlier this year. I do like the print that's in there but there's a specific print I purchased and ordered to put in here. It hadn't arrived yet so I put it up there for now. If you're following me over on Instagram you would have seen it already. I usually share my treats with you guys first but I was so excited about this I shared it over there so keep watching until the end if you haven't seen it as yet. Then I placed my final tree in my evergreen mini tree theme for this year. And this here was one of the reasons I had to split my decorating into two videos. I just finally received my mini wreaths. I ordered them from Target several weeks ago and they just kept getting delayed. And I'm adding the same brown ribbon I used on the tree and putting them on the back of the bar stools. I had exactly four mini bells left over so I figured why not use them and the quickest thing I could put my hand on were these paper clips. I know it's blue but you don't see them. Okay, it's a new day. That's where I stopped decorating that day and today I'm just gonna finish it off with some final touches. It is a cool day here and I always get pretty excited when it cools down. I'm in South Florida so cool days are a treat and I love opening up the house and enjoying the weather. I had some extra branches from the garland I used over at my sister-in-law so I put this together with the intention of using it there but it was too small for that space and we didn't end up using it. So I figured I'll add a set of those bells I also DIY'd to look aged and put it over my sliding door. The ceilings here are very high. These cabinets are 46 inches tall and there's still so much space up there. I don't usually decorate up here at all. I just store my baskets mainly because I have nowhere else to keep them. I swap and use them quite frequently but I had this leftover garland so I figured why not drape it there and see how it looks. These are two iron things I thrifted with the intention of recreating them into something and using it in my thrifted DIYs video but I ran out of time and figured I'll do them next year so for now I thought I'll just put them up here as they are.
And like I mentioned earlier, I decorate around our lifestyle, so our air fryer oven stays on the counter. It isn't pretty, but it is what it is. And the other things you see there we use every day, so I'm just adding small Christmas touches. And that about wraps up my Christmas decorating for 2023. I hope you all enjoy decorating with me. And if you're not already, I do hope you consider subscribing. I have lots of decorating projects already in the works, so I plan on rolling those out in the new year. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.